Good evening, everybody. Today is April 8th. So that means it's going to be that verse, uh, chapter 8 in Proverbs that's read. So I'm going to let my mom say what she'd like tonight. Verse 14, just jumped out at me. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Earlier today, we were talking about the power, the might, the rest, and the strength that the Lord gives in 2 Corinthians 12, 10. It talks about when we come to the end of ourselves, when we are weak, then we are strong because God's grace Lord's grace is sufficient for us. So therefore we can glory, we can celebrate in our weaknesses, in our infirmities, in our necessities, in our persecutions, in our hardships, in our distresses. Because when we come to the end of ourselves, when we are weak, when we are zero, then the Lord is strong and we become dynamite because of the Holy Spirit being within us. So I have strength when we fear the Lord. And that's in verse 13. What about you, son? Proverbs 8. I like verse 15. By me, kings reign and rulers issue decrees that are just. Um, I like that. I like that verse because um, if you pray for somebody who who's in power, then that will help a lot. Yeah. Um, a lot of people think criticizing is going to help anything that doesn't. But um, also, that's what anybody, like, if you want somebody to change, instead of talking behind their back and gossiping, maybe you should, like, talk to them, have a heart-to-heart -heart or something with them. So then they can actually change. And you know what you should be praying for now, since Bernie Sanders dropped out of the race, we need to really be praying for Joe Biden and for President Trump. And let the Lord's will prevail. He can do absolutely anything. So, um, but moving on to Isaiah 18, what you say if you like in that? 19? Yeah, 19. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was sharing with, um, Timotheus how there was a, a firefighter who lost his life and he, he was very close to his mother <clears throat> and she was calling the hospital three times a day, morning, noon, and night, saying, are you okay, son? And he was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then all of a sudden, the hospital calls the mom and says, oh, he's in respiratory distress. And then 20 minutes later, he's gone. <clears throat> and we're hearing stories like that replicate throughout the world. And in verse 8, even though this was um, dealing with Egypt, says the fishers also shall mourn, and all they that cast angle into the brooks shall lament or lament. They are crying so much and they that spread nets upon the water shall languish. But in verse 24, even a blessing is in the midst of the land. We can see God in everything. He's still keeping his people and he still will give his people peace even in the midst of great suffering. What's spoke to you? Mm, verse 11, <clears throat> the official of of Zoan are nothing but fools. The wise counselors of Pharaoh give senseless advice. Um, that's kind of an oxymoron because how can a wise counselor give senseless advice? But it also has to do with who they're giving advice to. Maybe they they might have been frightful if, if they if they speak their true mind or what they think. Or maybe like they they're saying what you're doing is wrong. So you have to be open to advice so that people can give you the truth and they won't be worried about you getting upset and stuff. So be humble. Amen. And the council should always trace back to the wisdom of the Lord. And we know that wisdom is better than rubies. Back to Proverbs 8. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to wisdom. Amen. Let it be rooted and grounded in the Lord. Good night. Bon voyage.